What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute glutes power workout. So grab your dumbbells and your glute bands and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our glutes workout. We're gonna be targeting your glutes in a pure strength workout today with your dumbbells, a kettlebell if you have one, and your glute resistance bands. I've also got my bench out here today. I am 27 weeks pregnant today, so I'll be modifying the glute bridges by putting my shoulders up on the bench. Feel free to do that if you would like anyways. Also, you don't have to. You can put everything down on the floor just like normal. Okay, make sure you have your water and your sweat towel. And as for the dumbbells that you're gonna need today, we're doing everything from a sumo squat all the way up to a glute bridge in terms of your heavy weights. So grab something that's a little bit heavier on the glute bridge uh, range and then down into your sumo squats where you can just kind of hold low, okay? So let's jump right into your warm up. We're gonna start with a little activation after we get our hips and our glutes ready and hips go back. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. You can hear me breathing as I come up and exhale. Glutes engage. And last one. Good job. Left foot out front. Let's go down and stretch. And then stand back up top. Keeping your hips nice and neutral so they're not twisting. Good, one more, come up and switch legs. Here we go, down and up. And what we're doing here is stretching out the hamstring and getting your single leg glute activation working. Two more. Last one. Great job, take it down right in front of your toes. Good stretch here. As you slowly walk it out to a pike position, keep your heels down. Nice, there we go. Stretching out the calves also helps your hamstrings and the deadlifts. Good. All right, go ahead and drop your knees down to the floor using your core to brace. All right, let's go back and forward. Back into child's pose and then up wide into the up dog press up. Keeping your core engaged as you transition between positions. Good, last one. Big stretch back. Exhale, stretch forward. Nice work, come back into tabletop. I want you to take side circles. Okay, so you're going left to right. We'll have three big strength circuits today and then a glute band circuit, and we'll do that three times through. Okay, so you'll see activation first with the band, and then dumbbell work, and then activation with the band, or burnout, and then dumbbell work. Good job, tuck your toes down, lift your hips up, walk it back. Good, exhale. As you come up, we're gonna cross the arms over the body. 30 seconds, we're gonna start with that activation series. We're moving in the frontal plane, the sagittal plane, and the sagittal plane in a different way. Just making sure that you get hip extension in all planes. I'm gonna start with my medium band. And we're gonna start with a lateral leg lift. Okay, I want you to find a wall or a bench. Brace yourself here. You're gonna to touch back and lift. Back and lift. Three, two, one. Let's go, take a diagonal behind, lift the heel. And you've just got one leg here. Add a little freeze at the top to make sure this glute is working hard. Great work. So this is abduction, taking it out to the side. Nice work, and there's no rush here. This is more about connecting with your muscle 15 more seconds, so I'd rather you slow it down, freeze at the top, then speed through these. Good. Six seconds, three, two, one. Now bend that leg, put the knee right beside the other knee, and drive your heel straight back. Think of a standing leg press, OK? 
okay? Knees are beside each other, and then you're driving straight back behind you. So it's not a kickback, you're not going up and down. It's like you're pushing the wall away. Yes, it's normal to feel it in the other glute, that's fine. Keep rocking. That leg is stabilizing. It'll get its time to work too. Good job, three, two. Now you can go ahead and put both legs on the ground, slow squat. Okay, move right into it. On the way up and on the way down, your knees are driving out. Try to rest very minimally in this one. Just moving nice and slow. Good job, and then we'll go back through the other leg with that lateral lift and the kick back leg press. Good, 10 more seconds. Three, two, all right, let's go back to the leg lift. We're going to the other side now. So touch and lift. There you go, really anchor this leg to the floor. The one that was moving last time is now stabilizing. Good work, 14. And then we'll take it to that leg press. Seven, six. One more, four, three, two. Bend your knee right beside the other knee. Push it back. Nice job, just about done here. Whew. Feel the burn, you've got everything waking up and we're gonna move into glute bridges up next which is the optimal time to go into glute bridges in my opinion. 10 more seconds, here we go. Four, three, two, one, and drop that band down. We're going into three rounds of glute bridge. Shoulder blades can be on the floor or on your bench, totally up to you, okay? Taking it full range of motion for three rounds. So in these three rounds, I want you to advance your weight at least once, okay? So if you're on the bench, heels are down, support your head, lift those glutes together, okay? Let's go, five, three, two, one. Here we go, 45 seconds. And if you're wearing a band still, make sure you're driving out on the way down and up, not just at the top. Thirteen, good job. Stay here. Nine. Three. Two, one, and rest for 15. Now let's go up and wait if you can. I'm not using a dumbbell for myself personally, but if you can go up heavier, grab that next weight. Okay, I'm gonna try around on my shoulder blades too. Let's go, three, two, one, and you're up. Good, and make sure you're posteriorly rotating your hips. So if you're leading up with your ribs open, you're opening too much in the low back, okay? Ribs should stay pulled down to the ground and you lift here. Ribs are tucked. 15 seconds. Three, 
three, two, one. Great job, and you've got one more round. Same thing, go up and wait if you can. Add a band if you can. All right, this is glutes power. So on this one, focus on squeezing hard to lift. Four, two, one, let's go. Good, and if your feet are too close to your glutes, you're gonna feel this a lot in your quads. Okay, inch them out just a bit. At the top of your bridge, your knees should be right over your ankles. That's it, 15, keep the ribs tucked. Five, four, good job, three, two, one, and rest for 15. Your next set of three rounds, it's gonna be a bridge abduction. Down, up, drive it out, okay? With a dumbbell or without, I'll leave it up to you. Here we go, three, two, one, lift, drive out, and down. Nice work, you've got 45 seconds here. Fifteen. Seven. And when you lift up, drive out. Keep your hips high. Four, three, two, one. Let's superset this one with 15 seconds rest. Glute bridge, pulse, okay? So you can feel free to drop the dumbbell if you have one on, but you're going all the way up. Start here. Halfway down, up. Halfway down, up. Let's go, two, one, come on. And it really does help to exhale, right? If your ribs are super inflated because your lungs are inflated, it's easier to use your low back in this. If they're deflated, it's easier for them to stay tucked here. Good job. Breathe 15 more seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Good job. And now we're back to your abductions. Okay, add the band, add the dumbbell, whatever you would like. Okay, I'm just gonna move back up to the bench here. Four, three. Two, one, let's go, up. So you go all the way down and up and then drive out. And just think of that top abduction as a freeze frame. So you go out, squeeze, then lower again. Good job, this is round two, so you gotta be going a little harder. 13, 12. Good, give me one more. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, now you just have the pulses. All right, find what works for you here. If you can go up on a band, or a weight, whatever challenges you, whatever you can maintain for 45, let's go. Three, two, one, start full up, and then just think about releasing your glutes together. Release, together. That's it, squeeze harder. Think about squeezing your glutes so hard that you're trying to turn coal into diamonds, right? You're trying to crack a walnut, whatever you wanna think about. Glutes come together with power. Don't think about how much your hips are moving. Think about how hard your glutes are squeezing. Keep the ribs here. Four, 
three, two, one, and rest. You've got one more round of those two, and then we're moving back to a glute band burnout circuit. Hopefully you're using dumbbells right now. Okay, if you can. Let's go back, last round of abductions. Three, two, one, go. You're up, drive out. Beautiful job, come on. Eight seconds, do not slow down. Four, three, two, one. Great job, let's go right into the pulses. Go up and halfway down, come on. 45 seconds right here. Great job, I know it burns, but I know you got this. Good, the pulse is all about release and squeeze. Good, you got 10 more seconds. Down, up, down, up, come on, step it up. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful work. <laughs> Feel free to grab some water. We've got three exercises to go through here. I'm gonna show you options, okay? Number one is fire hydrants, all right? I'm gonna drop down to my light band because we're going three minutes straight. Okay, and you'll see this cycle, this three minute cycle repeated again, so I'll show you in depth here. You'll remember it next time. First one, fire hydrants. You're alternating, all fours. You go left, you go right. Okay, next one, Superman abduction drivers. If you can lay on your stomach, you're gonna lay flat on your stomach, lifting your legs up in a Superman position, going out and in, tap out and in. Okay, if you cannot, if you're not ready to lay on your stomach or you can't right now, you're taking it out. 30 seconds here, out, in, out, in, or quadruped, okay? And then 30 seconds on the other leg. The last one is gonna be kneeling good mornings. Toes are together, you're gonna go here, squeeze. Here, squeeze, okay? Seven seconds and we start with your fire hydrants. And if you wanna add a dumbbell to that good morning on your shoulders, feel free. Two, one, let's go. Everyone, same page on this one. Alternating the whole time, not letting your abs drop and relax, keeping them tight. Great job. Just taking your knee straight out from your hip is essential here to make sure you're not going backwards. It's great for hip stabilization, great for strength in your leg workouts. We got 24 more seconds here, and then you either lay down and come up into a Superman, keep moving your legs in and out and in and out, or you stay here and we'll do one leg, okay? Pretty much everyone should be able to go to their stomach unless you got some one in your stomach right now. Okay, four, three, two, one. Take it down, lift your legs up, and we go in and out. Let's go. For me, I'm taking it one leg at a time. If you don't need to do this pregnancy modification, you're doing two legs at a time. They go out, in, out, in. And you're tapping at both spots. Great job. If you're doing one leg, we switch in five, four, three, two, one. Keep going if you've got two legs rocking. Great job, woo! Feel that burn, you've got 15 more seconds. And then we're taking it in the sagittal plane up next with the good morning. Think about a seated, Thruster, six, five, 
two, one. All right, knees are wide, toes are together. Coming into neutral. Great work. 30 more seconds. Back. Hold that squeeze for about two seconds before you release. 10. Four. Three, come on, one more, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right, come on up, grab water, and we're gonna move into sumo squats, okay? So, two dumbbells or one, totally up to you, or a kettlebell. You're nice and wide, toes are pointed generally forward, but they're wider than your hips. Sit here, okay? You've got three rounds of that. We go in seven seconds, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. We're back to strength. Probably won't be using your band here because the dumbbell's moving right down, kind of in the path where the band would be. Good work. Fifteen more seconds. Dig the heels down and explode up now. Ten. Good job. Three, two, one. You've got two more rounds of that and I want you to try to increase your weight at least one of the next two rounds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and round number two. Good. Make sure your hips aren't rising first. So if your hips rise and you leave your chest down, you're gonna have a lot of back work to lift that dumbbell. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. 15 seconds rest, last round right here. And really focus on digging your heels down. All right, go up if you can. Form doesn't sacrifice. Two, one, let's go. I'm with you, come on. Come on, drive the floor away. Make sure shoulders don't round forward, they're back. They're pulled back. Three, two, one. Amazing job. Your next move is a sumo deadlift. You're taking the same stance and instead of going up and down, you're going back and forward. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one, dig the heels down, flex the back, stand. You wanna almost think of scooping your hips right underneath your ribs. Same stance with your feet, nice and wide and you don't have to touch the floor.
Fourteen. Four. Two, one, rest. Good, now if you can go up, let's do it here or in the next round. Okay, remember this is back and forth. Think about shutting a car door with your glutes. Okay, whatever you need to remember to not sit so much as stretch and squeeze. Round two, let's go. And this can be kettlebell, dumbbell, barbell, doesn't matter, the movement pattern is the hinge. Strong back as you sit it back. And then just scooping your hips right back under your ribs. It's also great for strengthening your back too. Because it has to maintain that nice strong hold as you shift back. Three, two, one, and rest. You've got your last round right here. Okay, and then we're gonna alternate with some single leg deadlifts. Seven, six, go up if you can. Three, two, last round, let's go. Come on, strength training is all about your mind-muscle connection, not about speed, but how well you can make your muscles work in this time period. So the energy in power, especially, is not exerted for as fast as you can, for as long as you can. It's immediately, boom. Just strike that match, okay? Fire it up. Eight, seven, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job, now the next move. Walking, B stance, deadlifts. I'm just gonna take one dumbbell, somewhere around your 20, 25, 30 pound dumbbells, okay? Opposite hand is the leg that's working. So, I take that leg back and step and switch. Okay? And then I'll turn around and keep walking backwards. But the front leg is the one that's working. We stretch it and squeeze. Two, one, let's go. You can also choose to just stay right here and lift, okay? That's another option. Just a single leg focus. So if you wanna make it something a tiny bit different, do that, but give me a single leg focus. I do this because at the end of this circuit, these last three strength exercises that we've done, this will be the lightest one. So the unilateral focus is through a little bit of fatigue, your weight has lightened, Four, three, two, one, rest. Your weight has lightened, and in that same regard, you're also working on a little bit of balance. All right, same thing, two more rounds. Four, three, and let's go. Good job, make sure your knees aren't caving in when you lift here, okay? Keep them driving towards the right edge of your pinky. Two, one, rest, good job. And it's the last round of these before we go back into that three minute glute burner. So go up if you can. Okay, and then we're back to your fire hydrants, your Superman abductions, and your kneeling good mornings. Two, one, let's go.
Good job, give me about 15 more seconds here. Five, three, two, one, and breathe. Go ahead and throw that band back on. We start with the fire hydrants in 10 seconds. Same three exercises, fire hydrants, Superman good mornings, or Superman abductions, and then good mornings. Three, two, one, let's go. Rock your fire hydrants. Go ahead, go ahead. Nice work, 10 more, or sorry, 10 seconds down. Oh, keep rocking. I promise I'm staying focused. Had to get my mic back in there. 30 seconds down, you're still alternating here. Great job. And then we go down to the Superman. Keep your core tight here. Five seconds, let's start with the left leg if you're doing single leg. Everyone else, down to the floor on your belly. Two, one, lift it up, take them out, in. Good, think about just tapping and arching over a little tiny cone back there. Up and out. Great work. Woo, come on. Single leg, you switch to the other side, let's go. If you're doing both legs, keep rocking. We're just in and out, driving the heels away from each other. 15, and we go to those kneeling good mornings. Three, two, one, let's go. Back and squeeze neutral. Same thing here, ribs, make sure they're not flared. They're tucked so you can squeeze here. Thirty more seconds, let's go. Good, hold that squeeze for two seconds, then release. Five, four, two, one, and rest. Beautiful work. And you can throw that band off. We're gonna go into your kettlebell swing. 30 seconds of work here for these last three. Kettlebell swing, hold, pulse, call out, and then a hold, abduction call out. So you've got a glute bridge movement for the last two. We're starting with the kettlebell swing in eight seconds. It's just the hinge. You're powering through the hinge, okay? So right here, three, two, one, 30 seconds right here. Good, last 15. Three. Two, one, and breathe. 15 seconds rest, we go round two. Yes, we have three rounds here. All right, go up if you can. We're back for 30 seconds of work. Two, one, let's go. Good. 
Dig the heels down, 15, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds, last round. All right, let's go, five seconds. Last round of swings. Four, three, two, let's go. Fifteen. Squeeze, 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 come on. If you think about anything, dig the heels, squeeze the cheeks. Two, one, great job. Lay it down in a glute bridge position. All right, I'm gonna go with my medium band. We've got a pulse call out, okay? So in 15 seconds, you're going up into a glute bridge, okay? I'm gonna say go, and you start pulsing, okay? So we all start here. When I say go, you pulse, I say stop, you hold. Three, two, one, let's go. You're up in that bridge. And go, pulse. Quick little pulse, rapid pulse. Stop, hold. Good job, we're rocking here for 90 seconds. And go. Hold, good, stop and hold right here. 30 seconds down, good job, go. Come on, rapid pulses. Just a tiny baby downward movement. Hold, back up to the top. And go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Don't slow the pulse down. You've got 30 seconds to go, hold. We stop here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And last 15 seconds, we pulse. Ready, let's go. Go, go. Up, up, up. That's how fast I want you going. Seven, six. Three, two, one, and rest. Drop your hips down to the floor. Rest, your next movement is a call out for an abduction. Okay, so if you've got a band or a, a dumbbell, you're lifting up, when I say go, you go outward. I say stop, you hold outward. Two, one, start up in your bridge, let's go. If you're listening for me to say go, you drive your knees out. I say hold, you pause. And go. And pause. Good job, if you've got a band, keep driving your knees out. If you've got a dumbbell, return back to center, drive up. And go. When you start going, don't drop your hips down. Whew. And hold. And go, good job. 45 seconds down, here's the last 45. Hold. Go. Come on, come on. Do not slow down. Hold. Last 30 seconds right here, go. Good job, come on, come on, come on. Five more seconds, I'm gonna tell you to hold for the last 15. Ready, two, one, hold. Stay up here, drive your knees out. Squeeze your glutes together as hard as you can. Good, now even harder. Clench your fists together. Four, squeeze harder, three, 
two, one, and drop your glutes down to the floor. You've made it to your cool down. You're gonna stay right here. Don't leave yet. I know you wanna roll over and get up and leave and walk around, don't leave. Okay, take your band off if you have one on. Whew. All right, I want you to cross your left leg over your right, push towards your chest. Okay, you can grab behind your leg if that would help you. Pull towards you. Great work today. Glutes power. We hit some squats, hit some deadlifts, we hit some bridges, some swings. Switch legs, good job. Cross the other leg over. Grab it and pull towards you if that would help you, if that's okay. Great job, a lot of band work and a lot of strength work in both ways. I hope you exemplified power in your day and your muscle strength. Good, both feet back on the ground. You're gonna take it over, drop your knees down, keep your shoulder blades nice and flat. Great work, just kind of cool on your back down here a little bit and switch sides. Good. Swing your arm over and let's make our way up into a quadruped position. Hands and knees. Good job. Let your back just relax for a second. And rock it forward, up dog position. Hips are down and stretching. Good, big exhale. Tuck your toes and reach your hips back. Great job, you're in child's pose now. Oh, great work today, I hope your glutes are feeling, I think mine would literally be hot to the touch right now if I tried, but I'm gonna be professional and not reach back and test that out. But feel free to if you want. Come on up, tuck your toes, lift your hips. The point here was to make sure with that activation series in the beginning, you got your mind-muscle connection rocking. That is one of the most important things in a glute workout, is not just moving through the hinge or moving through the squat, but really squeezing the glutes or using the glutes to get your legs out into abduction. Walk it back to your toes. And if that's something that's pretty difficult for you, I would check on your hip mobility. I would try to activate your glutes one at a time with a very light band or body weight bands or body weight without bands. Bend your knees and slowly roll it up. Nice and slow, take your time coming up to the top. Okay, so even if it's something just like taking your heel to the side and squeezing right here, or taking it straight back without bending and just feeling the squeeze. If your hips are tight, that makes hip extension, which is most glute exercises, really tough. So getting to that glute activation, if your hips are always tight, makes sense why it's harder, right? So work on opening the hips up, especially if you sit all day, get a lot of this action going before our glute work, okay? I'm very proud of you today. As we shift it side to side, whew, make sure you're proud of yourself. Make sure you take something from this workout and use it and remind yourself of your power outside of this workout, okay? You're more powerful than your excuses. You're more powerful than the detours or distractions that will inevitably, without a doubt, come your way. Whether that's in the form of a person, some food offered to you, some long extended period of time where you won't have access to go get water, where you need to make sure you bring it, okay? You're powerful beyond measure. It's just, are you thinking in that way? I need you to remember that today. You're more powerful than anything that's gonna to come to you, and those trials and tribulations will show you that. But ahead of the game, we think, I can do this. Instead of just saying, oh, this is why I couldn't do it, I wanna be prepared. I wanna have my water within arm's reach all the time, okay? I wanna know wherever I am throughout the day, I've got food with me, I'm prepped. So if I have to stay late or if I have to go home early, I've got stuff there with me because I put in a little bit of extra time to make sure that distraction or that potential can't knock me off my game, okay? It's all kind of about playing defense in life. You're not gonna let distractions come at you and just kick you off your path. You're gonna say, listen, I've got it. I've got my food prepped. I've got this mindset that says I can do my best always no matter how tough things might get. So remember your power outside of this workout, okay? 
Before you head out today, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, lock it in that you crushed it and that your glutes are, yep, physically hot to the touch, and subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your notifications. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everyone. Great work today, I'm so proud of you. If you want a little bit more glute burn, I'm gonna link a video that I've done for you right here. Make sure you keep stretching with the video that I link for you right down here every single day. And also make sure you're subscribed to the channel so we can keep growing this community together. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Great job. <laughs>